What are we doing, dear? We're fishing. <laughs> We're fishing because why? We messed up. Uh, Luke and his tide calculations. What'd you find, Elliot? Hold him still so I can have a look. Oh, look at this thing. Right. Oh, oh, he's squeezed oh. through that hole in the bed. Yes! Let's go! G'day, my name is Luke, and this is my wife, Jen. And here are our two growing boys, Liam and Elliot. We've been fishing, boating, and exploring the pristine waters of the Fraser Coast for about 10 years now. So subscribe and come join the adventure. What are we doing, dear? We're fishing. <laughs> We're fishing because why? We messed up. Uh, Luke and his tide calculations. Oh, I knew we, it was. We weren't too worried. We said it wouldn't matter because it was at the bottom of the tide. Yeah, so the tide is starting to turn. It's just while we're getting some we hope. yabbies. Get some yabbies, have a fish, wait for the tide. And the yeah. place that you said we were going is better two hours after the tide? I hope so, yeah, I hope that's, so. That's Don't tell everybody doing. information like that. That's no. top secret. Isn't that what it's about? No, that's top secret information. As long as we you don't reveal tell just, we go. just enough, but not everything. God, why did I even tell you that? Do you want me to re-record? Yeah, we're going to have to scrub What's it What's going out. on, dear? We are on the hunt for yabbies. Liam wants to fish with them, but he doesn't want to find his own bait. Get out of the boat, lazy buggerlugs. He's scared he's going to sink. There's one right there. Big one. Show me this one. Is he a good one? He big. Good job, mate. What I will say is what got Elliot. <laughs> oh, don't get him on me. There he is. Ooh, I wonder what that is. Species ID, people. Okay, we're free. We're free. We weren't stuck at all. We we're just we we're just temporarily. Fishing. Yeah, we were fishing. We were gathering bait and fishing, and just it was all planned. A little bit of elbow grease doesn't fix. Nah. Don't need to go to the gym, just uh, beach your boat every now and again. Missed the tide change by that much. <laughs> Alright, now we're going to go to a secret spot that is no good to fish two hours after low tide. You definitely don't want to go there on an incoming tide. No, don't listen to Jen, she doesn't know what she's talking about. She just likes to throw little red herrings out there to confuse people. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we are... We're at a secret location. Yeah, don't tell everybody, dear. A secret location. I don't secret. Know if I identify. Highly secret. There's no identifying marks out here. I think everybody knows where it is, but anyway. Anyway, the challenge today. What's the challenge, Liam? Who can catch the best fish? And. Hey, there's... how come you're using the lure? You're meant to be using bait, you little cheeky. Cheeky little boy. There's bonus points if it's dinner and if it's the first fish. So. Okay, and the difference between you and Elliot versus Dad is that you guys are using Dave? yabbies. Yeah. Oh, he's yabbies. Using lures. oh, okay. Elliot's using lures. He's now. cheating. And Dad is using lures as well. Okay, and you're Five. using yabbies. Okay. Turtle. Turtle. Oh, there he is. Okay, first cast, seriously, first cast, dad's on to something. And if you catch a grunter, you're the winner, because that's what I like for dinner. Oh, it's off. No! Uh, How is... many fish have I dropped in the last two days? Three. The answer is three. Oh. And a lure. Oh, and a lure. I'm 
Maybe there's better luck with the kids. Yeah, yeah. I've dropped that many fish. I don't know if that's where Dad cast, but anyway. She's on again. Uh, don't lose it this time. Yeah, this is only a little one. Oh, he's coming through those stingrays. Oh, he's let go of it! Oh my god! You are kidding me! Oh my god! That is four. Four I'm fish. Four fish he's lost. What's I'm going on? There's a fish. There's a fish. Oh. We need to prove that he caught a fish. Can't actually under. see it yet. There's something on there. Oh, it is pretty small. Okay. So there is a point. First fish to the boat. Who caught the first fish, boys? Thank you. We lost the first two fish. Thank you. Secretly, camera, I hooked it. He just. Yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever. Whatever. Oh, the lure just popped too. Oh, we're gonna release him. Okay. So you just need to put the net in the water. I don't know how many fish I've dropped in the last couple of days. Whoa. Five. And it's five. I don't even know how it's got through. What hole it's got through, but... It's like... It's I don't know. Cool. How, how has it done that? Where? There. Right oh, there. Right there. Broke it. Oh, my God. What's what? I've done something. I'm cursed. Rightio, folks. The wind is picking up again. Seems to be a bit of a curse at the moment. Dropping fish, holes in nets, wind picking up in the afternoon. It's all happening. You don't look impressed. I think I lost dinner. Anyway. Oh. Even editing that was painful. So frustrating dropping so many fish. Anyway, we're about to jump into the next day. Edit that and see if it gets any better. Now yeah, who's the kid having fun? Too much fun being had. We'll go sneak up into this shallow patch. Oh, oh that's big. That was a bit long time, I think, yeah.
Keep it in the water. Keep it in the water. Get in the boat straight away. Don't let it jump out of the boat. We finally landed one! Here we go folks, a Fraser Island flathead. How many fish have we dropped? How many fish have I dropped in the last three days? Where? Yeah, Seven? if it's just your counts, maybe six, we've lost count, we have to go check. So, even though this is a little 50 centimetre flathead, it is a very valuable flathead. So we're actually talking about maybe going home because that wind is starting to pick up. There's a cool change coming through tonight or this afternoon and tonight. And you probably hear that wind in the speaker. The microphone, sorry. Retying this knot because there was a bit of abrasion about two inches above on the leader. So always check your leader before recasting. Because you never know, you might drop seven fish in a row. What you're doing is holding it like that. All that length, under, up, under, up. What you're doing as a fish comes, you're going like that. Okay? Netting 101. Yes. Keep it in the water, lamb, remember? No, like down in the water. But you can almost touch the bottom, mate. Yep, use the whole length of it. Wait, we're just going Scoop to up, that's it. That. Yep, Run good. Deep. Run deep. Run deep. Run deep. Run deep. Quick Run before it goes Look at that. It Look came off. off. It came off. already got two for dinner. Get the net in. No, one, keep it in. Dad, do you want me to put it in? Put yep. it in the bottom. No, right down low. I can't see it. That's right. secret the other day two hours after low tide and that's when we generally see the bigger ones come in this one what was it uh, 59 59 58 
beautiful fish. I'm so glad we got it in because we've been having a bit of trouble getting fish in lately. Anyway, that wind's picking up, so we might persevere for another 20 minutes or so, and then uh, we'll go home and have a bit of a cook-up. Beautiful. I know you probably can't hear this because of the wind. The family won't want anybody to hear this, but just so you all know. And it goes off right. <laughs> and it goes off right. Dad won the competition. Lewis, Where's Dad? all the cheering? Woo! Yeah, you you. Woo! And Lou has outfished Yabby. Join me next week as I head out for a solo jigging session where I find some oh. Harvey Bay gold and a couple of toothy speedsters of the sea. Hope to see you then.